Mark here again, cooking books, bringing informational meal, serving up the information as a meal. Uh, as you guys know, I've been studying alchemy. If you watched any of my videos, studying alchemy, the uh, the uh, chemical process <clears throat> and uh, the periodic table. And, you know, just taking my time with it, really pacing myself and uh, studying, you know, the uh, effects of fluorine on our system. And as I mentioned in, in previous videos, fluorine was introduced to our water supply uh, following World War II. They needed to figure out what to do with the uh, element. And uh, fluorine, is a, it, it belongs to the uh, halogenic or halogen family in terms of the periodic table. And the halogen family are all elements that are extremely electronegative they are very high in terms of electronegativity they uh, attract an enormous amount of electrons uh, which is a negative component in terms of energy so they attract a lot of negative energy and uh, fluorine as I made mention before is in our toothpaste it's in our, our water supply so we we consist of about 65 to 70 percent hydrogen so the fluorine is uh, heavily ingested in our system by means of the the composition of hydrogen that we are we're, we're, we're composed of. So we are natural. What that means then is that we draw a lot of negative energy to ourselves, whether you're sleeping, whether you're awoke, whether you're conscious, whether you're subconscious, unconscious. It doesn't matter whether you're aware of it or not. We are constantly. Uh, on a vibratory level, attracting a tremendous amount of negative energy to our our physical selves uh, as a result of the element fluorine. Because again, of the elements uh, in the halogen family, fluorine is the highest in terms of electronegativity. There's actually a scale, and it measures at 4.0. Uh, the scale is from 1 to 4. Yeah, from 1 to 4. And fluorine actually comes in at four. Uh, so it is actually the highest in terms of the electronegativity. So the fact that we consume fluorine on such a uh, in such heavy dosages, it, 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 it means that we are naturally attracting a lot of uh, electrons. Electrons, again, in terms of uh, ions, they are negatively, they would be called anion, A-N-I-O-N, -N, anion which means a negatively charged particle. You have a cation, which are positively charged particles. But anions, anions are negatively charged, and, and this is what fluorine is the highest in terms of uh, uh, its, its nature. So, I, you know, it's just, it's, just ve it's just very important to understand that you counter this. You counter this because it's in a, you know, a... a this kind of science is ineluctable. What I mean by ineluctable it means it's no, it's it's unescape, it's inescapable and and unavoidable. It is a uh, a, 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 a inevitability, right? There's no way to 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 avoid this. But what we can do is counter it, and you can counter the electronegatives in terms of the periodic uh, table uh, with with uh, metallic substances or metallic elements because you have metallic and non-metallic now metallic elements are low in electronegatives right that's metallic elements the metallic elements for instance are uh potassium sodium uh cesium uh francium uh you know magnesium all these different elements uh, i mentioned potassium uh you counter the electronegatives with elements that are low in electronegatives or altogether not electronegative right so in turn because fluorine and again water and uh consumption and toothpaste and and so uh or how we introduce this into our system our diet dietary supplements is a way that we introduce the uh counter to the halogens which would be alky like alky metals alkali metals alkaline earth metals uh 
they have what's called perfect pH. Alkaline earth metals have a perfect pH. Uh, perfect pH means that it's a pH that's above seven. P pH means potential hydrogen. If it's above seven, eight, nine, if it's above that, that means that it these elements neutralize the acidity of fluorine and fluoric flor the fluoride fluorides. So until next time, y'all know what we're doing: cooking books, bringing information. Peace.